Uh, assuming it is a long-term thing for Jamal Charles, do you guys have to have three, or can you get by with what you got on the on the 53 right, right now at that yeah. spot? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, DeAnthony's got uh, running back possibility there too, so an experience. Um, and then we've got Spencer Ware on the practice squad, who we know can play both uh, tailback and fullback. So we'll we'll look in house first before we go outside. I know John. I haven't met with him today. He's got workouts going on with other positions. So, um, you know, um, I'll talk to him later today and see what his thoughts are. But um, I, we, we normally just look in-house first and, okay. and go from there. I was going to ask about Spencer Ware. I mean, do you think he's the guy who could help you guys out maybe in some spots? Yeah, he's worked very hard, you know, getting himself in that position. We thought he had a good preseason and training camp. Uh, he had an opportunity to play both spots, um, which makes him – uh, valuable, obviously. That's why we kept him. Um, he's got good hands, good blocker. So, he, that maybe ability to play both spots. Does he give you something as a as a running back that maybe those other two guys don't? Well, all three would be would be different if that were the case. Uh, um, so, we, I, I mentioned before we have a lot of trust in Nile, and uh, um, he's different though than what Jamal was and and what thirty five is. So they they're. they're uh, 25 and 35 were closer together than what what now was as far as uh, the quick quick you know the feet and the dancing and all that stuff where Nile is going to pound you and uh, and he's got real good speed to go with that and, and I think uh, you know when you look at Spencer he's probably got a combination of that you know the two so he can he can play a power game but he's he's also got enough elusiveness there. How difficult is it, Andy, to take an offense that you know, kind of revolves around these skills that Jamal has and does everything so well, and then tailor it to the different strengths of those three guys you mentioned? How difficult is that to, 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 to make that work when you got to switch stuff up? Yeah, well, listen, you know, you're not going to replace uh, Jamal. He's one of the best, uh, really, when it's all said and done, would be one of the best in the history uh, of the game. So that's not, that's not how you go about it. You do just what you're saying. Either you, you find out uh, and... and Exploit the strengths of of those other players, and and that's a challenge as a coach uh, to make sure you're putting them in a good position to do that. And uh, we've had some success at that position doing that. Now's had some big games for us here, um, you know, when when he's been called on, and and then uh, Sure Kendrick is is getting better every week, so um, uh, we can we can surely move forward. I mean, that's and and still be successful there.